Okay, welcome to another video. In this one, we're going to take a look at how we create a Windows 10 install disk. Now, before you start this, you're going to need a blank writable DVD, and that's about it. I'll put a link in the description to where you download the tool to create the disk. So, let's get into it now and have a look how we do this. So, from the desktop, we want to go down and open our browser. I'm using Chrome, and then you want to navigate to the link that I've got in the description. Then we have to decide whether we're running a 32-bit computer or a 64-bit computer. I've got a link to another video that will show you what you're running. I'm running a 64-bit, so I'm going to download that one. Once it's downloaded, we go down and we left-click on the execute file, and we can go ahead and minimize the browser at this point. We don't need it from now on. You should then see a dialog box open up asking what you want to do. Upgrade this PC or create an installation media for another PC. I want to select that and then left click on next. It's then going to ask for the language that we want to use. So I'm in the UK and then what version of Windows 10 we're running. And again, I'll put a link to a video showing you how you can find out what you're running. I'm running Pro and then whether you want a 64 bit version of Windows or the 32 again in the video. I'm using 32 for this one because I need it for another computer. Then it's going to ask if you want to make a USB drive or an ISO file. We want to make an ISO file because we're going to burn this to DVD, so we select that and then left click on next. Then it's going to ask us where we want to save the image, so in this case it's default into downloads, and then we click next, then we will start to download Windows 10. So once you've downloaded Windows, it will then verify your download. Now I'm pausing this video to make it shorter, and this could take a while on your computer depending on your internet connection speed. Then we'll see a message saying that it's creating Windows 10 Media, and again, it may take some time. So once that's completed, you'll be given an option to open DVD Burner, so we'll left click on that. That will then open the DVD Burner properties, and you'll see that we've got the Windows ISO we downloaded, the drive that we're going to be burning with, and then we can drop down. You can verify the disk if you like, you don't have to. Then we go over and left click on Burn. That will start the DVD Burn process, and again, this may take a while. Then you'll see that the disk will be finalized, and again it could take a while. So once that's finished you should have your Windows 10 disk and we can close out the burner. And then we can go down and left click on finish, and there we go. So that's a quick look at how we burn a Windows 10 disk, and I'd like to thank you for watching. 